Director of Symphony Tacoma. My friends and I from Symphony Tacoma would love to share with you a couple of videos. As you are choosing which instrument you might play from the string family, as you can see, I have a number of strings that surround me. My son is playing the cello, my daughter the violin, my son the guitar, and the ukulele. Strings are such a great family, and I just feel that the heart and soul of the orchestra comes from the string family. Hope you have fun choosing whether it's going to be the violin, the viola, the cello, or the bass. Hello everyone, my name is Ali Ling Liao and I'm a violinist at Symphony Tacoma. Today I'm going to introduce to you two of my favorite instruments in the orchestra, the violin and the viola. The violin and the viola belong to the string family. It is a four-stringed instrument played with a bow. The string instruments played today have developed from the bowed instruments played in the medieval and the Renaissance period. Most scholars credit Italian Andrea Amati as the first known violin maker back in the 1500s. The major difference between the violin and the viola is the size. Violin is smaller, therefore it is a higher pitched instrument. Viola is like a really big violin, therefore it has longer strings and lower pitches. String players, we also have various sizes for students. For example, here in my hands are one sixteen size for a toddler and a one ten size for a small child. Because we are all built differently and will grow at different rate, your arm will be measured to determine the best size that fits you specifically at the playtest. Both the violin and viola can play different styles of music. Here are some examples for both instruments. First, I'll demonstrate what the violin sounds like. This is what the viola sounds like. Next is Hold Down by Copeland on the violin. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'm looking forward to seeing you play the violin or viola on the stage in the near future. Bye bye!
Cello, and I'm glad to have you here today. Cello is one of my best friends, and I'm happy to talk to you about it. I started playing cello in Tacoma Public Schools when I was just about your age. Cello is much larger than the violin and viola that you've been seeing. The cello has a deeper sound, and we always sit down when we play it. Now, there are so many things I can tell you about the cello, but I thought maybe I'd let the cello tell you instead. So here's a little piece that's fun, and it's about an animal, and I want you to try to think what animal this could be. Did you guess a donkey? Yeah, it's a cute little donkey that had a lot to say while it was moving along with a little cart. Now here's another piece that has the cello playing low sounds and high sounds. And it's a beautiful little melody. <laughs> to listen to that. Well, we've got a lot of practicing to do today, but I'm so glad you came by and wanted to find out about the cello. And I look forward to meeting you and seeing you and playing with you soon. <laughs>
So we hope you'll have fun this summer. Uh, stay well, stay distanced and enjoy your time as you choose your string instrument.